Spots out to our west did see some possible tornadoes last night in Mercer County. A funnel cloud was spotted over Grand, Light, Grand Lake in the Salina area. That video is on your left. Or excuse me, that's on the right. It also carried pea-sized hail with it. No, it's on the right. It's on the left, actually. In Auglaise County, this video it's on your right. right, that is Wapak, the Kaneta area. That appears to be a large funnel cloud. That's between Wapak, Kaneta and New Knoxville. You can even see the clouds circulating there. And we're also getting a look at damage left behind in Dart County, where a possible tornado swept through Greenville. Either way, there's damage all over the place. You can look see it. Here. Uh, there's heavy damage caused by fallen trees. Some have blocked city streets, fallen onto homes. There's also some report of a flood damage in the area. And, you know, Central Ohio has been no stranger to severe weather already this year. And local emergency agencies say they have been busy. EMA directors for Franklin and Delaware County say it has been an unusually active season. Both directors hope the weather calms down, but they say their crews are ready if it doesn't. They also want you to be prepared at home. Our big message to the public right now is we're going to keep having more severe weather. Unfortunately, as the summer goes on, that's how it is here in Ohio. Keep paying attention. As always, when strong weather might roll through, it's a good idea to make sure your phones are charged. We have an emergency plan in place. Speaking of your phone, you can download the Storm Team 4 weather app. Get weather alerts sent right to your mobile device. Just look for it in your phone's app store.